Welcome to this Arnold Culliford Knitwear tutorial. This is part of our Year of Techniques, 12 patterns to help you to upgrade your knitting skills. Today I'm going to show you the uh, ways to hold your yarn for fair isle patterns so that you keep it really consistent and so that your patterning really stands out from the background. So I'm working on this mitten which has some yarn in it for an afterthought thumb. And the yellow is the pattern or foreground colour and the dark grey is the background colour. And what we want is for the yellow to really stand out from the background. And so we're going to do that by always taking the yellow yarn from below the grey yarn. So the grey will always go above and the yellow will always go below. And what that means is that because the yellow is coming from below, each of those stitches are slightly longer than the dark grey ones, which makes it really stand out a lot more. So how do you hold your wool so that you make sure that you're always taking the yellow from below? Well, I hold my yarns both in my right hand and um, I'm able to keep the background colour over the index finger and the foreground colour over my middle finger. And that means that I can flick the wool over alternately because I'm on a section of doing alternate stitches. And if you look closely, you'll see that each time the yellow is coming underneath the grey. And that keeps everything really consistent. Not everybody holds their yarns the same way around that I do. Many people, when they're working Fair Isle, like to have one yarn over each hand. And in this case, you'd have the background colour in your right hand and the foreground colour in your left hand. And then you'll be working the foreground colour using the continental technique and the background colour using the English throwing style. And in this way, again, if you look closely, you'll see that the grey is always going over the yellow and the yellow is coming underneath the grey. And then finally, if you normally knit using the continental style with the yarn in your left hand, you might like to try holding both of the yarns in your left hand. And again, we're going to have the foreground colour on the left hand side. So we hold both yarns over our index finger, background colour on the right and foreground colour on the left. And then we can just take whichever yarn it is that we are needing to knit with. Oops. And again, if you look closely, you'll see behind that the yellow is coming from underneath the grey and the grey is always coming over the yellow, which keeps everything as it's meant to be. So what happens if you don't hold them that way round. If you hold them the opposite way round, you'll see in these swatches that the patterning is much less, doesn't stand out quite so much, especially in comparison. So it's really important when you're making a pair of mittens that you hold the arms the same way round for both mittens, otherwise you'll have one that has more bold patterning than the second one. And if you look at this third example, you'll see what happens if you're slightly inconsistent in how you hold the yarns. If you just pick them up, no matter which way round, you'll see that the, the work just doesn't look quite as neat. It's one of those things you might not notice until you compare it with uh, knitting that's been done differently. If you're wondering why your fair isle doesn't look particularly neat and tidy, then that's definitely something worth checking, is how you're holding your yarns and are you making sure that the the foreground pattern colour comes from below each time to make longer stitches. Just one last tip to show you for fair isle knitting. When you're working on a small circumference in the round, sometimes it can be hard to make sure that the floats are loose at the corners or in any, some, in any of the areas, especially when you're shaping at the tip of a mitten. And what I do in that situation is I turn the work inside out. 
and it's literally just turning it inside out. There's nothing else to it. So you're carrying on working as you were before, but now the tube of knitting's inside out, and what this does is it forces the floats of yarn on the wrong side of the work to go around the outside. So they can't take a shortcut like they might do if the mitten is the right way out. They have to go around the outside and it just keeps everything from puckering. But you can see I'm working exactly the same way. I'm still looking at the right side of the knitting. It's just that the tube itself is inside out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to hold your yarns when you're working fair isle patterning. If you'd like to know more about a year of techniques, do visit our website www.acknitwear.co.uk and you can find out more. Why not try something new today? Thanks for watching.